the name of Bruce Rauner is running in the gubernatorial, gubernatorial race in Illinois. Uh, he is one of the Republican frontrunners. He's expected to win the Republican primary. And he has gotten a little criticism because of his net worth, his insane amount of wealth. In fact, just to give you a sense of how much money he has, his net worth is reportedly close to nearly $1 billion. And also, he's a venture capitalist who owns nine homes and made $53 million in 2013 alone. So who he's balling. Who owns nine homes? A guy who's got a billion dollars. If I had a billion dollars, I'd own 19 homes. No, you wouldn't, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you, you gotta put stuff in them. Like, who's in charge of it? Everything gets super oh, dusty. Right. That's a super pain oh, in that. They have <laughs> house managers that take care of every house. Oh, I yeah, gotcha. I like how Ben can't get it, wrap his mind around being rich. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who would dust? Yeah. Like, like rich billionaires don't dust. They got people who give people tasks to dust. I don't want strangers. I wouldn't want strangers walking around my house the whole time. Like I got it. Two, three, beach, mountain, where you live. Done. <laughs> That's a great policy. Yeah. I like yeah. that. What about a vacation home in France? <laughs> no, you get a place. You pay no, for no, two weeks. Hotel. You just get hotel. 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 You rent a house. Every rent billionaire I know has at least five to ten homes, and even some of them are not in for years, but the homes are there not for them. The homes are there for their to families. enlist people's, no, not for their family, to enlist the support of other people. So like, hey, uh, we got to pass up an Aspen. Why don't you take your family up there for two weeks? And oh. then you're like, hey, he's a really good guy. I should... That's Tell other really people clever. That. Maybe that's, that's how, how they, they got to be billionaires. Yeah, that's power right there. <laughs> and by the way, nice beginning to a sentence. Every billionaire I know. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. pretty yeah. good. All right, yes. so back to this guy. Uh, they say, hey, you're in the 1%, right? Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm in the 0.01%. Yeah. Damn. He's also said the following, which I love. This, this statement could not make me laugh more. He says, I'm a very different person than Mitt Romney. I drink beer. I smoke a cigar. I use a gun. I ride a Harley. I get a crowd going to a standing ovation. I never saw him do that. <laughs> Damn, right? right? So he's throwing punches, and you know, you would expect a politician to ignore that kind of stuff, but no, Mitt Romney's camp decides that they want to respond. And here's the statement that they released. This is a former campaign official. He or she said, I don't know what cave Bruce was stuck in during 2012, but out of the 60 plus million people who voted for Mitt Romney, tens of thousands would regularly show up to stand and cheer at our rallies. Well, okay, good. No, no, <laughs> Do you feel I, better about yourself? That's my favorite part of the story. Like, first of all, why is there still a Mitt Romney camp? Yeah. <laughs> okay, dude, I think you guys were supposed to disband, but that's part of the interesting part. They have not disbanded. Mm -hmm. They wait in the wings, right? So they're out there like, did somebody say anything about Mitt Romney? Oh, yeah, you better not say that. We had a lot of standing ovations. We did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Super embarrassing. All right, so this, this uh, Ronner guy is getting a lot of criticism because people can't really relate to him. He's so wealthy, he's a venture capitalist, he owns nine homes. So he put out this ad trying to connect with, you know, the, the regular folk. And, oh, great. And here's what it is. I Take can't it. wait to connect. Had this thing 20 years, almost 200,000 miles. My kids call it the rolling trash can. I call it reliable. Bruce Rauner, one ugly van with a plan. Pat Quinn lives in Chicago and flies to Springfield in a plane, paid for by you, the taxpayer, costing hundreds of thousands a year. I'll live in Springfield, sell that state plane, and drive my van to work, because the capital needs a good trash can. OK, I only hate that yeah, ad. I, I, mean, that, I want to go to Illinois. I don't even like Pat Quinn. I want to go to Illinois and do everything I can to defeat that fucking guy. Yeah, yeah. That, it, that was such a fraud right yeah, there. Yeah. First of all, I want to know which intern had to go money the van for the commercial. Right. Because that van was, a billionaire does not have a dirty van, okay? Right. They had to actually literally go put mud on that van to shoot that stupid ass commercial. For sure, because one of the house manager's job is to make sure all the cars are clean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's one of the, like, so, uh, uh, like uh, Fred Thompson with yeah. his fake van. So he, his fake he, pickup. Yeah, he would drive his Lincoln Town car to his fake pickup and then drive the pickup around for his, for his campaign. That was Fred Thompson who ran for president and uh, was briefly a senator. So now the thing is, if he just stuck with the original thing of I'm a billionaire, I'm in the 0.01%, yeah, right. I'm going to clean things up. You know, I, I don't, I won't be corrupt because I already have the money, he right? Can say he flies to Springfield. I'll live in Springfield. I'll uh -huh. be governor. That's my job. I'll stay there. I've, I have nine homes and I'll live in Springfield, which is a dump. <laughs> I'll put a 10th home there yeah. for no reason, yeah, right, right? Totally, yeah. So if he's stuck with being honest, then at least we can appreciate that, yeah. right? 
That was a bullshit ad. And it goes beyond uh, the van, which, which obviously isn't his. It's his delivery. Like, look at that fake smile. Like, yeah, this is my van. But wait, like, maybe, that, maybe that is his van. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe I, he's like, maybe right. he's like to, to his wife and kids, he's like, you think you're fucking special? You get the van. <laughs> That's all you get. Maybe he's just I a cheap son of a bitch. These, and he's <laughs> like, you know. I love all these theories. No, my theory is he's a calculating dude. And look, credit to him for making a billion however he did as a venture capitalist, right? My, I think he kept the van because he knew he was going to run for office so that he could do that stupid ass ad. It, 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 like, oh, it's got 200,000 miles on it. Yeah. I also have a private jet. I didn't put that in the ad. <laughs> okay. Right. So, and now look, to me, I, this guy, I have no feelings about one way or another. I, I liked the honesty in the beginning. I hated the bullshit ad, right? Uh, and he's a Republican, so I probably disagree with him on policy. What really bothers me is this is the state of politics in America, yep. that, that it's for the rich, by the rich, of the rich. I, I've seen a chart of number of millionaires in the House and Senate, mm. and it goes like this. So there was a time where it was down here, right, as a percentage, right? So. And, now you literally can't run unless either you are a millionaire or you know a shit ton of millionaires. Somehow you know them. You worked at Goldman at some point as a secretary. I don't know, but right? Also, I, I don't think I don't think the public's really against it. Mm -hmm. I mean, think you know, think about it. Who are the two most popular superheroes in America? Right. Uh, oh, I know what you're saying. So they're both Iron billionaires. Man, Iron Man and Batman. Yeah, they're who both, are both billionaires. billionaires, right? Um, I saw somebody the other day that's uh, having a debate as to who's richer, Tony Stark or, or uh, Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now, now the thing is, it's FDR was incredibly rich. So it's not that we mine billionaires, and FDR was the no, most progressive uh, president we've had in a century, mm -hmm. right? And so that's not the issue. And this guy could have perfectly great policies. The issue is now that you cannot run unless you know incredibly rich people because you, 95% of the time, the guy with more money wins. So it's gotten to a point where the average guy literally cannot run. He has no chance. When this guy entered the race, it was a very crowded Republican field in 2013, and he sort of overwhelmed everyone with this with this ridiculous amount of money. Here's what else is depressing about him. By the way, he went to Dartmouth, MBA at Harvard, six kids. He lives in she also lives in Chicago, but he'll. They'll live in Springfield. Nobody wants to live in Springfield. Nobody yeah. wants to live in Springfield. Uh, I think that'll go against him. Uh, this is what said. He was an advisor to Rahm Emanuel. Like, oh, that's interesting. So, like, I mean, this is a nice example of, uh, this may not really matter who your governor is. Mm -hmm. You know, this sort of, again, the uh, chief of staff to an allegedly progressive president, now the mayor of Chicago, and one of his advisors is a... The billionaire Republican. If you think that somehow at the top of American society they care if someone's a Republican or a Democrat, they don't care at all. Mm -hmm. Everybody's friends. They just want everyone else to fight about it below. They all do business with each other. It's 100% right. It's insiders versus outsiders. I just and learned today that uh, I got one piece of good news today. Ken Jennings, the Jeopardy champion, is a Democrat. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well, yes. Wow, we got that one. All right. Uh, I believe there is an answer, though. Anybody want to guess the website that the answer is on? Oh, right. Wolf-Pack.com. <laughs>